And I'm Missy. And we're Two Noodles Pulling Thread. Welcome back. Hello. A um, couple days late, but no big deal. Yeah. We're coming into summer. No set schedule when it comes to summer. So that's right. But um, hope everyone's doing great. Mm -hmm. It's Tuesday, uh, May 2nd. Um, unlike some, we can do calendar days. Um, <laughs> But what you don't know is we sit here debating what's the day, what's the date, and what video episode number we are. are. We are on episode 29. <laughs> we have to look it up every time. Um, we've had a lot of rain. A lot. Sunday into Monday, four and a half inches. Just four, where we are. Yeah, just more in other places. Yeah. Um, lots of flooding. Um, lots of enough so there was no school yesterday. Yep. I, um, Roads closed. I have to go a different way to work because I can't get mm -hmm. through the way I normally go. Um, fire departments have closed down roads. Some roads have completely disappeared. Lots of damage, but spring and Maine. No life losses, so nope. that's good. So nope. we talk about how we don't have mudslides and tornadoes mm -hmm. and alligators, alligators and, and all that stuff. And nope ropes. Yeah, but in um, springtime in... Our, our area of Maine oh. is um, flooding. We get flooding. So a lot of what happens is it's the rains, and then we literally are at the foothills of the mountains, the White Mountains in New Hampshire, I mean, all of Western it. Western mountains. So um, as the snow is melting off from those mountains, we get which it. is later than it melts here, it it's a rush of water. It there's dams along the way. Those dams have to be released because of the pressure of the water. The water comes down along with the rain, and we get a lot of flooding. Yeah, so. A lot of flooding. Um, showers off and on for the rest of the week. And then, did you see the weather forecast for the weekend and next week? Is it nice? Sunday is supposed to be 72. Oh, I'll take it. I think. So. That'll be nice. Yeah. We had an early spring, and we're going to jump right into summer. So. Yeah. Um, in the heat. I can handle heat, not humidity. I just watched half of Antique Needleworkers while I was working today. Yes, I'm still working. And uh, yeah, Liz was commiserating about humidity and she thought she'd move to Maine because um, it might be a little different, but I don't get, know. we get humidity, but not like you're thinking, Liz. No. We might get like a few weeks of it, but I just, I just want 75 sunny. No humidity. That's all. Yeah. Um, when now see when someone says humidity, I think Ohio last year. So that was hot. We do have our visitor over here. Yeah, so. she's made it into my basket and she's like doing round um, and round and round and round. She's gonna end up on the floor. What are those turns called that whales Zoomies. do? Zoomies. Oh, that's what she was doing over here. Well, Flips and turns. Like an and, alligator would be a death roll, but that's what I meant. So I don't know if whales do death rolls, but you know whatever. Well, I meant. It. While we're ahead of the game, let's jump in. Let's jump in because we are a channel about cross stitch. Yeah. Not the weather, not the Believe calendar, it or not. not the cat. That's right. FFOs. Nothing. And I, you got a whole list here. Good for you. I did. I had a day. Oh, I did have an FFO. Okay. I took it to a quilter station and gave it as a gift. Aww. Um, yeah, we got a lot to talk about that. You can you can okay. go ahead if you want to. Um, I had a day that I was just plugging away at things. So um, I had shown you this um, last time, I believe, and I painted my little my little tray. So cute. And added a couple bumblebees. These are they're wooden, but they're stickers. Oh. I pulled the fo the foamy type sticker off. Yeah. Um, I got them at Hobby Lobby. So it nice. came like, I don't know, 10 or 12 to a package. So um, just did that. That's a primrose. Uh, that paint color is perfect. Yeah. I bought a couple different ones, um, but I really wanted something that color. Mm -hmm. And then I just finished. A lot of these are just simple fil fillow finishes. Pillow finishes. Yeah. Fillo pillow. Just coffee. Oh, good grief. <laughs> he did it again. Summer Wishes by Primrose. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be, this is titled Hot Mess Express times two. Uh, I like this fabric so much, I bought it twice. I found it twice in my stash. And that was two cats. The kitties are not happy with no, one another. They don't like each other, so. Hey, 
Be nice, girls. Um, I did Helen's pillow that she created um, for my stand tall retreat. I finished that. He is so cute. Um, I, that was a start and a finish. Um, and then I used the fabric that she put in our packet. Um, tried something different to put a middle fabric in. That like was kind of fun. I like it. Um, yeah. Very nice. He's so cute. So cute. And, oh, I would rather be stitching Primrose. Yeah, we won't look. See? You have I'm a not... healthy love affair with Primrose. I do. I do. Um, I love it. I was going to make it a little different, and I had got it all sewn up and all turned, and then I went, I was going to add fabric down here. Oh. And, and you know what? I love okay. it. I like it, though. So. Is this part of their bundle pack? Or oh, heck did you no. Buy this it? is Hobby Lobby. Oh. But you bought their, you bought some fabric from them. Not there. yet. Oh. You better so, get on that. Yep. Um, I think I have a, bee, a couple of bee pins that I'm going to stick in this. Mm -hmm. And keep going. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Aw. I know it's in here, Missy. Oh, there it is. Um, if you guys remember, I made the oh, little I teeny. Love I this. sewed the bumble thing, so I made it into um, a charm. I uh, absolutely a scissor love fob. it. Little bee charm from Hobby Lobby. That's the Hildy and Joe. Is that from Hobby? Um, That's Joanne's. Joanne. It was a bunch of those, and just added some beads. Um, Spools. You can buy these little teeny tiny spools at Hobby Lobby, and I just wound thread around it. So I like that. And I think one, two, three, four, five. My last one. Every time someone counts one, two, three, I want to sing that James Taylor song from Sesame Street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we all went down to the ladybug picnic. Oh, that's right. Years so, ago. Um, we were. I read a thing that. It was um, Sesame Street characters, and they were talking about different ones, and they said, the, but the, the, the count, he doesn't count. Oh, but he does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last one. This is the section two from uh, Hive Rules. This is adorable. I had shown it last time that I had two separate pieces. Um, so I just stitched it up, stuffed it. I'm team glue, glued on the, the Me too. the trim. Love it. So so now I can change out. Yes, I still have Easter up. <clears throat> I, I have, have winter, winter up. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, so that's it for finishes. FFOs, I should say. I have one finish. But what do you I have? stitched this piece a, while, a little while ago, and I don't remember. The, is it heart and hand? Lily, don't you? Is it heart and hand? I don't yes. Remember. I think it is heart and um, hand. Stop, Lily. <clears throat> a friend overlooks your broken fence and admires the flowers in your garden. And I only have a picture of the front, but I gave this to a friend at Quilter Station. And one of these days I'm gonna learn how to do the bottoms without puckering. But this was the first time I used sawdust. I didn't use enough. I know that I need to pack it a little more. And um, our friend Holly gave me, gave both of us, but my pillow, I noticed, I think she stuffed it really well with sawdust and put a little polyfill where it was whip stitched. Oh, hers is filled I, with sawdust? I, yeah, I think I didn't so. Know that. And I love how it packs. I can't wait. I have this pattern. I so, have to stitch it. That was my only FFO. And I love the one red. in a long time. Is that Lady Dot? Yep. Yeah, uh, Chili, I think, is the, mm -hmm. the um, what's that stuff called? Chenille. Chen Chanel, 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 no, Chanel. Chanel, survive. <laughs> reminds me of uh, Laverne and Shirley. If you're of an age. Yeah, so. Finishes. I, I have one. That's you, not me. I have one, and um, we were on a Zoom with some friends. Um, if you watched The Garden Goose, mm -hmm. um, she just showed this. Her and I finished this at the same time. This is Be Thankful. Um, and I got it done. I did not put the snowflakes. I know you guys all say they're not snowflakes, but. I love it. So um, that's my finish. And um, yeah, just pick it up. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, and I'm plugging away at the other ones, so. I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish it, but probably a pillow. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's you your finishes. finishes? I do have finishes. Oh. 
I didn't have any um, OG Stitchery bag. Oh, that is cute. Isn't that cute? So I was doing um, for baby girl, which is baby E. So she put a teaser out there. And this is um, my Sweetie Pie ABCs by Posey by Alicia or Alicia Paulson. And this is what I was doing. So cute. So much fun. I did it on 25 count Be Stitch Me Scroll Lugana. You changed your color. I right? changed it all. I did a complete oh, that's much floss than conversion. I it would be. Yep. Did you did it did it space it out for you or did you have to choose where you put them? Uh no, it spaced it. <clears throat> it spaced it out, which caused for a lot of counting on your Lugana. Heart. Oh yeah. Um yeah. I could have squished them in a little more, I think, in hindsight, but oh, no, I, I am I'm happy with Yeah. With how it turned out. Whoops, I didn't mean to dig you. That's I don't okay. know what I'm seeing, so. It's okay. I'm going to bring your end back some. There we go. So I love it. Um, I changed up the house. Uh, their house is tans and blues. And the quilt was extremely colorful. Grace Isn't. didn't want so much color. And the little girl, I darkened her skin just a tiny bit, and I gave her dark brown hair. Well... We'll see what she ends up with, but. That is so cute. So I really did. I really, really enjoyed this a lot. Yep, that is. A lot. Ella's leaf. I love the tea kettle. Egg. And that egg cracks me up. Cut hot. No pun intended. I know. The tree come out really nice. You should. Get the uh, yarn ball. I know. So much fun. You should keep that in mind when you're doing trees to just do a few of the branches half and half. That come out beautiful. So I will get this framed and um, Ashley and I are talking about baby shower and hopefully I can get it framed and we'll use it as part of um, decor. Yeah. We're gonna be um, um, a little practical but cute with what we're doing. So yep. smart. Which is kind of nice. Uh, so that was a finish and I started this on just one, I didn't, I didn't stitch a lot on my flights to and from Quilter Station. Um, but well, I you did, said it was a tight squeeze. Yeah, I did one one flight. I stitched and I then I finished it on Sunday. I also finished Flamingo Frolic. And this fabric is really a That's close when you pull it back. It's a brighter, brighter blue. I'm gonna do this in an ornament to hang on my tree, and I put Kathy's initials and 23 and a green lymphoma awareness ribbon yep. ribbon got a little string on it's it it's cute but it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun to do they were so really much fun. enjoyed that that um oh, donna finished hers that day too didn't she <clears throat> yep i think she did so yep. and we had a group of us stitching on sunday so i didn't know i was going to finish it well it was really it was quick but I'm like, there's nothing on this that, is Missy. Total, this is, <laughs> I know. This is totally not my color wheelhouse. And somebody even commented today on my um, Instagram that I could easily prim it. And I could have, but I didn't. And I chose to go with some bright colors for that, me. That is bright for you. Um, and I stitched from, uh, this is a Lindsay Stamp Series Plant Grow Bloom from Primrose. I love and that they have it? such a variety. I just, I love it. Hopefully, I've got my Q snap ready to go for the other one. Oh. And there it is. It's it's cute. It's tiny. I don't know 100% what I'm going to do with it yet. But I do love it. And I'm all set. This is just a 32 count Jobelin white yep. that I had. And I Perfect am size. ready to start tonight. Squeeze the day. Love it. I really do love a good lime lemon. Yep combination i i just love it and these are the sweetest they have i don't even know what year these oh 2022 yeah um they have a whole uh i guess series you could say yeah that that's, one's different that's the one we're giving away yep it is so anyway love it loved it girls um 
Yes, they have one that's in my wish list that I want. I was just going to say, I've been eyeing a couple wondering. Hmm. Which one are you eyeing? Because um, I'm going to pull some patriotic ones. I really but... like, I get the girls confused. Is it Lindsay that does a lot of the designing? Um, I think it was her anniversary. It's a love one. And I think she did it as a house on it. I'm sorry. I don't remember the name of it, but it's a pretty recent one. And um, I think I might do that and change it up a little bit. With I like the, the North loose. Pole one that came out of it. Yes. You'll, you'll be doing that. I will. I will. You'll be doing that. So, And I've got a patriotic one in my cart ready to... Oh, do and I want to do their Independence Day one, which I have, and I bought it. The longer it. one, yeah. I bought it at StitchCon. It's not often that you see the words Independence Day. Right. It's usually 4th of I July. Really, I really want to get going on that. I don't have any whips. Cool. Well, I have starts. You have no whips. I have a couple new starts. I finished stuff, but um, I'm going rogue these days. Yeah. This is... I like this. Leela? Leela. I think it's Leela. Leela Studio Spring Parade Set 2. Sorry for the glare. I am doing the White Rabbit in the Strawberry in the upper corner. And I don't have a ton done. This is done on uh, 18 count applesauce by Color and Cotton. And that is... Look at that little strawberry car. They're smaller than I expected. Yes. So they cut, are just adorable. I cut my fabric though. way too big. Oh my big. gosh, look at this bunny's hat. That's, I think that artichoke is the next one I'm going to do. Oh my goodness. I don't think that I would not do... I think I would do them all. Yeah. Like, there's not one that I don't care for. There's, I like them in a specific order. Yeah, me um, too, but that this because one, it's this white. This one, this one, that one. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I cut this so bigger than I needed. Way we bigger have than plenty of room then. So, but yeah, he's so cute. And I'm going to take a peek and see what spring set one is because I don't know if it's bunnies or, or what it is. I don't remember. I know I've seen so, it, but I don't I don't remember what it um, is. And I'm doing that with That's adorable. Um, all the call for. It's all DMC. Mm -hmm. And doo -doo -doo. I'm out of order here. This is. Yes. Blessings overflow. I can tell when you make your bags that a left-hander does it. Yes. Um, this is from Sweet Wing Studio. Um, oh, I'm doing, love me some Sweet Wing. I'm doing, um, I try to, Sabbath day stitching mm -hmm. with Alicia and Jess from Como Stitches. Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy. Christy. Fun. Christy from Java Girl. Um, there's a ton of people in there. Um, so this is what Facebook I chose. Group. I haven't Blessings overflow. sat and devoted time to it yet. By Sweet Wing Studio. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. And the, right up your alley, too. And the words. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it's, it's so, so quick. So I have most of the words done. Are you using the called for flosses? I am. Yep. Yep. And did I write down what it's on? PTP, uh, 18 count PTP sterling. It kind of yep. has a blue tinge to it to me. Yep. And it had a green when I cut it, so it's kind of weird. It's very pretty. So that I'll just finish overflows and put in all the cups. So her patterns are awesome. Um, I love her charts. I love her color guides. And then her charts are awesome. Of course we use um, good notes now. So, and I was working on a project last I night. I haven't yet, but. And. Um, I'm getting there. Boy, without good notes, that, that pattern seemed like it was this big. <laughs> like, why have eye strain when you can wear magnifiers or I did. put it on a piece of technology? And, like, I can stitch so much longer and so much later in the night. Well, I pulled out my... <laughs> Which I don't know if that's good. I call it my stitching lamp, the one that I take. Yep. And I'm like, it's still hard. And I pull down the magnifier and I'm like, wow, those squares are big. <laughs> I don't use the magnifier. <laughs> So this is probably right now one of my favorite favorite stitches. I have been loving watching this on Instagram. This is Tiny Modernist, a Stitcher's Garden. And this came out at market. Um, I saw someone do it in purples. Jody. Yep. It's um, gorgeous. Oh, I didn't take my hoop off. Obviously didn't loosen my hoop. Um, on a side note, while I'm doing that, someone asked about my hoops. They said, where'd you get your great colorful hoops? And I told them Hobby Lobby, 
but I wanted to share. This is what the inside ring looks like. It's got a lip, it's got a little edge, because I know Hobby Lobby sells a couple of different brands. Right, they do. Um, these are my favorite. I am a hoop girl, 100%. So this is on, where am I here? 18 Count Pistachio by Fiber on a Whim, uh, Fabric on a Whim. No, it's Fiber on a Whim. Fiber. I don't know why I wrote Fabric. And ugh, I knew the minute I pulled it out that that was the one it was gonna be. That is I so pretty. Love this stitch, and it's a quick stitch. And you're using the color and cotton conversion, right? I am. Yeah. Uh, Primrose Cottage did a thread conversion to color and cotton. I've never used color and cotton before. Did they do that with Holly, Mrs. Jones' stitches? That was on. Or was that a different one? Tiny Town, I believe. Oh, okay. It may have been this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to misspeak. They, they put their their minds together and did but, something um, together too. So I ordered. I ordered the colors from uh, Primrose. Primrose. Yep. Oh, what did I just click on? Oh, my pen. This sort the of magnet. And um, this is just stitches so fast, so fast, and I love it. So that I anticipate. Well, we'll talk about plans when we get there. I don't know if it will be a finish or not. So you don't have any whips either. No. Those are my starts. I'll just keep going. I didn't stitch a lot. I keep going. I worked a lot, but I put who a doesn't really? I put a few more. Since you've seen this, this is Gathering Stitches by Luminous Fiber Arts. I won't pull the, the chart out. All I've done is put in part of a bird. I haven't stitched on it in a couple of weeks, but I did stitch on it last night and put in some of the bird. Um, I don't, I've learned it. I really don't have time at lunch. Um, so there's that. Here's my tiny town. This is a coloring color conversion as well. This is the uh, honey of a tiny town. But they did a DMC. They did their conversion. This a conversion to what they typically have done yes. with their B patterns, right? Okay, so the other one must be <laughs> that with must Mrs. be Jones. the one with Holly. And ignore my dangling thread, but that's what I've got. Oh, done. a dangler. I do. You mm. put yours on the back. I just leave them on yeah, the front. Whatever. So, um, I call this the boring side because on this side it's going to be a couple of different blue houses and a brown house, and um, this has just got two houses on it. This is but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Oh shoot! I was going. There was a comment that I didn't. Uh, um, I didn't reply to because I was going to address it and I don't think I did the research for it. Oh, well, you're going to have to talk here pretty soon because I've been talking the whole time. That's okay. Um, I worked on Joy and Good Cheer and I don't know where it was when I showed it to you the last oh, time, okay. but this is the Brenda Gervais Joy and Good Cheer. Um, I finished the snowman. And you got to cruise on the rest of it now. Yeah. Um, I really don't know what I had done. When we showed when I showed it last, I like that fabric. So uh, this is, I don't even know what it is. <sighs> Mind blowing by Fortnite Fabrics. Oh, so and my last whip. I've been pulling this out when I don't feel like stitching in my room by myself alone. And when would that be? Not many nights, <laughs> but. I have to show you because even you haven't seen this women's t shirt today. They lost. I know. They lost. So I think when I showed you last, I had started oh boy. on the border. This is Winter Rose Manor. You finished the house and you had started on the border. So I have a <laughs> lot of the border done, or a lot of the bottom border. I put in all those trees, I put in the flowers for the border. And I worked on the steps. And now I'm starting in with snow around those trees. A lot of snow. A lot of snow. Um, this me. one I am not doing on pattern um, on good notes. I can follow the pattern. I'm really hoping the snow shows up. I think once I get more in, it once will. Once you get blocks of it, you'll yeah. see it. I have one more tree on the other side of the steps. And then the border goes up. This is motif heavy, but... I do like how you you made the decision to make your urn a different color. Yeah. I do like that. And look at the color. Yeah. It's got I a brownie. It. I don't know if I can show this. Whatever color I chose. 
Oh, this is going to be a horrible picture. <laughs> I'm trying, people. I'm trying. I don't know if you can see it with the light. Uh, yeah, My urn has some brown in it. I like it. So, whatever I chose. So I'm having fun with this. This is this sits by my, my chair. And once I do this, I'll go up into this other urn that looks like um, Feed Me Seymour at this point. So, loving <laughs> it. You just got that, didn't you? Yeah. I am slow, usually. Well, you know, yeah. it's it's a busy, you know. And that's it. I'm done. You can talk for a while. <laughs> um, boss me. May called. And the calls for mine were Ladybug, I think it's called Ladybug Daisy. It's a Mill Hill um, beads and buttons kit. And um, I think I'm doing five days on that. I adjust, I went into my Boss Me board, which is very much Whipgo. We just call yeah. it Boss Me and do it within a small group of friends. Um, I had a lot of 10 days and seven days and I was finding that that was, was a lot for me. So I reduced that to like five days. And then I think it's called the Christmas Sampler, but I keep calling it I Heard the Bells. Oh, okay. By um, Heartstring Samplery, and I'm very excited for those. But uh, I am stalling Boss Me for the month of May. Um, I want to do some baby stitching projects, which I finished one, and I want to start the, um, I keep saying Bush Gardens in my head. Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush um, Christmas stocking. I want to get that started. And I have a couple of, uh, I have starditis. Oh, I have no business bad. with starditis, but you know what? Oh, well, I'm happy about it. I like what I have. I yep. have it. I'm going to do it. Um, so is that stocking staying at Lolly's house or going yes. to? Yeah. Yes. It's staying at my house. They can, I know Grace would love to choose her own stocking for them too, but for, but it's staying at my house and I have special stockings for the rest of us that were not stitched, but they were, um, Sewn and, and quilted by a friend of ours. So so I will get back to boss me, but I am stalling because I also only really have um, 19 days or so in May because we're going to be gone for, for quite a bit. So, and I won't, yeah. I probably won't stitch a lot. How did you do we'll in April? About that. Did you... April, I did not, I can't remember what was. You got one, didn't I you? I finished, um, I met my goal on uh Founding of America. Yep, I could see it. And <clears throat> I'm not sure I touched the other one even. I don't even remember what it was. Well, it got, your work got hairy at the at Yeah, the end, it's, so. it's been a little nuts. So. And I still haven't finished one of my March ones. Well, there you go. Oh. Well, it's okay. I so have, that's where I'm at with Boss Me. Um, I was lucky and got April done. Um, one of them was a new start. I mean, how many new starts yeah. did I have? So I could could have just cut a few. few. Um, I can actually cross off a few more on the board, but I'm being good because you know I only I put a few on. Um, for May is clean my craft room, which it's starting to look like I really need to clean my craft room. Um, I feel that. And then Frosty's night out four hours. Um, I'm struggling with that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think if I can somehow scan my paper copy. Because I have a working copy that I'm working on. Yeah. Put that into good notes. Yeah. Maybe. But I'm going to keep plugging away because I do want to finish it and it's not huge. So, but that's it. Cool. Yeah. Um, Floss too, buddy. We haven't had one in the last few videos. I'm having a snack. You can have a snack. Um, Kathy has snack-itis mm. also. Mm -hmm. She loves to snack. If you could... Well, I don't mean that in a bad way. No, no. It, <laughs> but she loves a variety of snacks. And they I have like snack, to pick. They have snack cupboards. So if you're ever at her house and you need a snack, you, you just go choose snack. something. Everybody am, knows it's there. I would rather, like, lunchable. I would rather snack than have a full-on, like, lunch. Yeah. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of nuts, a little bit of cracker, a little bit of this, a little bit yep. of that. And then we add Doritos and candy and... <laughs> It's all good. Yep, keep talking. Uh, Floss Tube Buddy. Erin um, Elizabeth Designs. Oh. We've heard um, several people speak about her. I've watched, um, I think she has three Floss Tube videos out right now. I think, I think I've watched two of, I could be very I wrong. don't know. I think. Um, she's a gal in Canada, and she is the sister-in-law to um, Shannon Christine. Yeah. And together, she encouraged 
Erin Elizabeth, watch her video. She talks the story. She encouraged her to, to get some designs out there. She's really got some cute, some things. cute stuff, some beautiful things, different take on things. Yep. But what I really, really enjoy is she's shopping at like the Dollar Tree and that's in showing you how she's finishing using products from there and it's yep. just yep. adorable. I mean, I know a lot of people talk about how expensive it is to, to have finishing done. It could be, um, yeah. You know, in my mind, there are a few things I want professionally finished. Mm -hmm. um, but if I can finish things, my I'm not a finisher by any means, but... I like but you go. like that crafting outlet too. Yep. You like you like doing that. And it's for some me. people. It's just not not their thing. Something they like or enjoy, um, and that's wonderful too. But to be able to go to the Dollar Tree, it makes it so efficient or so affordable for for more people. Yeah. Um, so yeah. she does a great job showing those things, and she'll she'll show you things, and you never know what you're going to find at the Dollar yep. Tree. Very very pleasant to watch. Really so. enjoy her. What do we got here? Um, well, we finally got our brains straight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From the last video. Oh, my word. Um, we did need to draw for... Cosford. Cosford um, Designer Spotlight. So, and that was Anita Meyer, M-E-Y-E-R. So send us a message, um, an email, two needles pulling thread at gmail.com, and we will get you in touch with Cosford Rise... Stitchery, and you can pick your pattern and yep. and all of that. So yep. there she'll uh, will if you send us an email, we'll forward your email address to Kelly, and um, she will reach out to you and uh, provide a PDF for you. Yeah. Um, so for the month of we are in May now, and mm -hmm. um, what happened is we because we filmed at the end of March, we jumped into April, and I think that messed us up. Yeah. So. Um, for the end, for the month of March, our spotlight designer is Sweet Wing Studio. Susan. Um, and we love Wait, all the you things. You have seen how we have stitched um, her things. Uh, and actually, the last video, I had two finishes. Kathy's working on one of hers. She is an absolute delight. Love her chart. She has quite a variety of um, inspirational, yeah. um, faith-based, patriotic, cutesy i i think she my next one um it's it's i have a whole list of things is the philippians 413 oh yep and really love that um we're actually um going to spend some time with a few stitchers here coming up and we've chosen we've all chosen one of hers in particular that we're going to start together when we're all together yep. um go check her out on it she is sweet wing studio on instagram um Etsy and she just has some amazing things and she's she's really pleasant to to converse with and uh, we absolutely adore her absolutely stuff. so she is our um, May uh, designer spotlight designer spotlight um, and she's been gracious that's right yep. she is offering up um, three PDFs to three people yep um, so you choose. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, because people may comment that. So um, we will do a drawing next time mm -hmm. for three three people. Use the word butterfly. I know our phones. Ladies. Are, yeah, our phones are going off and it's the same chat, Hi, group everyone. chat. So they're going off. Yes, we see you. So use the word butterfly and we will draw three people next time. Mm -hmm. Thank you very um, much for that. Generous um, donation. Yes. Yeah. Very and, sweet of you. You know, we're going to definitely, I, like I said, I know you have things on your wish list. I have oh things my on gosh. my wish list. And so. And I've bought that I haven't stitched yet. I am really, um, here I go again, startitis. Uh, I stitched her, as you might recall, in a much earlier video, Frank Franklin's freedom yes ben franklin. ben franklin and i loved that it was a little quirky it was all about him um i'd like to see more of those so but anyway just put my someone order else in. is stitching that right now um, i have seen that recently does she have one that's abraham lincoln and then there's that one and oh my gosh i can't remember what it's called i'd look it up on my phone but it's about dead um 
and it has the white. There's a sal going on for you, it. Too. You talk. Anyway, I have that, and actually, I think um, Jenny and Nancy with the bougies, if not both of them, one of them is doing it with a few other people. Look at that, right at the top of my favorites. <laughs> nope. Ben Franklin is American Please. history. Do, do, do. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's a sticker. Never mind. I was like, <laughs> that's shopping. Looks... No, I bought it. Um, if you scroll across, does it have patriotic? The girls just keep seizing state stickers, sweetie. I say it sounded like it was boring. Traffic. No. no. It's in there, though. Okay, keep scrolling. We're going to find it. We are. Bear with us. Just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> yeah, you just did the this one. The cats have been very pleasant. Don't even put that out in there in the world. Mm -hmm. Someone just did that I one. I see it. Ben Franklin. Me either. Well, if you type Lincoln right there. I don't know, but I like this one. <laughs> She's shopping. Look at this. Stinking cute. Isn't it adorable? I didn't anyway, see that. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. I have it. We'll show it anyway. It's, so, it's very delightful. Squirrel. Absolutely love it. I know. We're going off and off and off and off and off. So anyway, um, we also were um, sharing. Uh, we were very blessed with some items from Primrose and the gals there. They are just expanding and doing incredible things. So keep following them yeah. and their live floss tubes on Thursdays, most Thursday. I know. I don't like being back at work because I miss their lives. I know. So I know. Um, but these are two that we had grabbed. Whoops. Probably shouldn't do that. Um, this is spring and this is fresh lemonade. And um, the winner of that is Bridget Montgomery. I love how, that name. It sounds like an actress name. Bridget I was, Montgomery. I was thinking Southern. Oh. So. Okay. So, um, We'll Bridget, know when we get her address. I know. Bridget, email us, two needles pulling thread at gmail.com with your address, and uh, we'll get those out to you. Also, a little side note, I know that we have not mailed out the um, shares for our 5,000 subscribers. They're packaged. Uh, they're packaged. It's going. They'll go out this week. Yeah. Um, but anyway, thank Mine you. Mine will go out tomorrow. I have I lots of excuses, but they're just not out there yet. Travel so, was one of them. Yeah. Mine will go out tomorrow because I knew we were coming to film today. So. Yeah. And I started the wrong way home. Because oh, yeah. the road's closed. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, the only question I remember seeing was the one about the hoop for me. Um, um I didn't respond to this one. Uh, Lisa was curious about finding um, stitch groups, how we found stitch groups that we get together with. Either we talk about our library stitchers and how Kathy and I host um, or we try to do once a month at a local Panera. Yeah. Um, did we start them? Did we find out uh, or did you find out about an existing group? Um, she's trying to figure out how to do that where she is and she is um, in New York. What I would suggest is see if you have a local, I don't want to say local, I'll use an example. In Maine, there is a, a closed Facebook group for Maine cross stitchers called Vacation Land yep. Stitchers. So if you're a Maine stitcher, check that out. And um, that's where we see things. So we just decided that we wanted to do that and we create a graphic with all the information, we post it in there, we put it on our Instagram, and we didn't know who was coming. Right. But um, the library group. If you feed them, they will come. Right. The library group was, it just happened to be a few of us that happened to get to, we, we just threw it out there one day and we happened to get together at the quilt shop. Yeah. And scheduling didn't work there after that, and we found the library. Right. So. And for that group, it's uh, most of us live very rurally. So it was an air, it's a place that we can all come together that isn't a huge distance for a lot of us. Yep. 
Uh, so that's been nice too. And we go to the yeah. library, which is a great setting. I love it. Yeah. And um, we stitch. Yeah. And, and Panera is a completely different group. Yeah. You know, mostly. Um, yeah, definitely. That's how we do that. Um, we just kind of created it. Uh, yeah. And there has to be a Facebook group And it group wasn't an original York. idea because we know of three other groups that are meeting in either Starbucks or Panera's within um, Maine. Yep. So. Yeah, put it out yeah. there. Um, and we have people that do come from for a distance to the Panera one. So you just never know. Yeah. yeah. Um, find a local group. You might, If you know someone else who's local or someone who might be in the next state. They might be able to help you find out if there's a group. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you'll stumble across it. Right. Really. Right. For us, we for us we do Saturday mornings at Panera. Yep. And um, they actually because, love seeing us come at Panera too. Particularly because Hobby nice. Lobby's across the parking lot and they're open on Saturdays. <laughs> yeah. And, and um, some of the people coming don't get to the area very often. So that yeah. gives them the chance to do some shopping after if they want to. And we... We've doubled in size since the first week. Yeah, it's so. nice. It's been a lot of fun. Good luck. So Good if luck. you're a main Stitcher and you're in the um, Auburn, Maine area, we're meeting again this Saturday. Yep. Nine o'clock. Yep. Turner Street in Auburn. Yeah. Stitchy kindness. Oh, boy. It, um, first of all, I traveled to Quilter Station. Yeah, talk about it, that. I couldn't have had better travel and I couldn't have been with, um, better company oh yeah and it was just uh a delight to be able to be with um stitchers like that uh met up with um a friend a very sweet friend tammy and met jen and i'm not gonna remember all these names crystal and um lisa it was so much fun um quilter station itself was very exciting it, their shop is beautiful delightful um the ladies there were amazing yeah. rita does a great job putting on her <clears throat> her um events the designers were and i'll show that stuff here in a little bit but the designer showcase there were r and r reproductions and so that's Anne with um dying to stitch out of uh, virginia beach area and um <coughs> pat Ryan is R and R linens. Yep. So there was there was them and there was Lori with La Da, Stacy with Stacy Nash. Reproduction? No, Stacy Stacy Nash. Stacy. Everybody Nash. knows Stacy Nash. <laughs> um. And the fourth one was Vicky with um, Needle Needlework Press. I didn't know. You she, asked, she's asking me I like know. I went. She like creates the the book of days. Why did I not know that? I don't know. Anyway, it was amazing. Two days, conference room style. They presented their, you probably all heard different people talk about this, but um, I'm assuming that they each got a block of time. They spoke a little bit, talked a little bit about their business themselves and presented their um, kits. And then we had time to socialize, stitch. Awesome. They went table to table. They spoke one-on-one -on -one with with each of us, um, done late afternoon. And I loved all of it when it came to this, but Pat Ryan of R&R &R Reproductions and Linens, she spoke for, I wanna say three to four hours, all about the history of linens and needles and- yeah. I can see you being right enthralled amazing. in that. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. She knows her stuff. Um, she was so much fun and I'm going to say this in the best of ways, five minutes, she's talking and five, 10 minutes. And somebody said something about, you need to write a book. Oh, that was so funny. Would you write a book? And she said, listen, do you want a book or do you want linen? Yeah. And I leaned into Tammy and I said, I think she's from New England because that sounds like a New England reply to me. You know, that a little uh, crusty on the outside, but super soft on the inside. And then it wasn't her next sentence. She talked about being born and yeah. raised in Boston. And I was like, ding, ding, ding. I knew it. I'm you a can, winner. I can spot us. Yeah. <laughs> I can spot us. We do us. stick out a little. Yeah. Just amazing. The, she talked about 
thimbles and tomatoes and where they got their start and that's all that's just that's right up your alley. I wish there was a video and she it's the first time she's done she's given this particular talk presentation in eight years oh, and wow. she said again do you want linen or do you want videos so it was so much fun and I have forgotten so much of it but as I hear people talk about different things I'll remember things the whole time I sat there I was like, I so wish Kathy's mother was here, my mother-in-law, because she would have loved all of it. Oh, yeah. Um, it was so much fun. And then after that was the time spent within the hotel creating a living room out of the lobby and pulling up yeah. chairs everywhere and <clears throat> just sharing with each other, stitching a tiny bit and sharing within each other with with each other. Yeah. Um, it was so much fun too because Friday night, so there were two sessions, right. Wednesday, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday night there was this mesh of the two coming and going. So I got to spend some time with Shelly and Justine from Welcome Stitchery, Whips and Sips, and I'm telling you. I can, I can see them coming. I can visualize them coming through the door, giggling and laughing. And ha Shelly I mean, was. I yeah. mean, Justine was. <laughs> I can just see it. I yeah. can see it. And, and Shannon and so many stitchers from Minnesota. I can't remember names. Iowa ladies. Um, it was so much fun to just, to just talk. Yeah. And they are what you see on their floss tube. And it was just so much fun. So much fun and to make um, connections with people that I had met and then to meet people. We went stitching Sunday. Yep. And Penny with the Daily Stitcher sat down and said, <laughs> I need a t-shirt that says, I'm friends with Missy Timberlake because I've been watching Floss Tube and they're talk and I think it was Quilter Station yeah. goers talking about who they met. And I said, I could use a t-shirt that says, Kathy's doing great, thank you for asking because there was so much of that. <laughs> Which I absolutely loved. Yeah. How's Kathy doing? Is she really doing okay? Yeah. Yes, she's really doing okay. Right here on the okay. forehead. You just... <laughs> so with that, there were also people who shared. I'll show you my Quilter Station stuff too when I... Get it's going to all be messed. Yeah. I'll be in with it. Well, you're going to have to help me because things showed up for me as... Uh... I know. So um, there was... <clears throat> I'm, I'm remiss with some names, but I also don't want to use names because... You didn't ask. I didn't really ask. Um, so right out of the bat, these lovely bags came from a wonderfully beautiful stitcher. And she had one for for Kathy. Specific, pac specifically, specifically. Specifically for her. These are amazing. They are. Just amazing. Thank you so much. Look at the inside fabric. It's flowers. It's but you, just beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. Yep. The workmanship is amazing. And the fobs, they're just, yep. I love the simplicity. Yep. They're so, so pretty. So pretty. Thank you so much. Yes. Absolutely love it. Um, again, I'm all over the place with the whole weekend. Red Barn Samplers. Uh, Ray was there and she gave this sweet, and she has, I watched her, she's shown this on her floss tube, so I'm not going to, to give away anything I shouldn't. She includes this in an order. So if you're going to Red Bond Samplers and you order, she includes this sweet little... It's cute. Um, she's taken a piece from Isabella Roberts. Oh, yeah. Who completed her sample on November 24th, 1848, using Berlin wool. So this hasn't been released yet. This um, is coming soon. Yes, so it's them. coming soon, but she's done this sweet little chart as a giveaway. That's cute. So she shared that with everybody. Um, I do remember that the lady's name was Kathy, who did, who had this sweet little gift. And then she had one for Kathy to send. Look how amazing this They're is. so cute. So cute. One thing I did notice, which I haven't been to a ton of retreats, but, and this could have been the same way at StitchCon, but I didn't notice. Um, these ladies set up their, their, um, space. It's like bingo ladies at the bingo the hall. It was amazing. The creativity, the beauty and the stuff that they are 
they're taking like little little old trunks and re putting fabric in them and I've seen that yeah I mean yes a lot like the the jewelry boxes that we're seeing it was next level That's and awesome. it was amazing and the whole group that this lady sat with amazing stuff yeah. amazing stuff so it was absolutely gorgeous uh, the I mean, irony is is I got ready to show Missy a picture of something very similar to this and she handed it to me and I was like she oh took a screenshot of somebody's picture from Quilter Station. But I didn't know where it was from. And it was one of those. So that was, so, yeah. And um, some people shared floss drops, which I absolutely love. Cute little tin for on the go fort container with a cute little sticker on it, the sewing machine. Very unique yeah. ideas. Little... Just fun stuff. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Um, I need to not work and I need to not sleep because I now I want to do so many fun oh, things. Cute Some little, cute little, oops, yep. over here. So fun. thank you so much. Yes, um, thank you. I mean, for everyone to think of me and I love this from. Uh, I do know Kathy from uh, so and so's. I wonder where she found or if she stamped on the letters. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you, they are They're cute. Just it's so cute. Beautiful, just beautiful. So, uh, a gift from uh, Quilter Station was I can't show it. It's just the chart, but the chart Alma from Blackbird Design gave her. You have more things that I did. Oh, okay, go. Yep. You do that when you. Yeah. Oh. Did I interrupt what you were doing? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. Alma from Blackbird Designs gave Rita permission to. Um, do a photocopy of a chart to give to everybody in hats off to Uncle Sam. It's the most it's adorable. Cute. If you if you look up the hashtag quilter hashtag quilter station 2023, I'm sure that you'll see a photo of this is a salt box, like a salt, a bamboo salt box that slides and opens. And you got that. And so she gave us this. She gave us the copy of the chart, and um, they finished it on here. Would you do it with so a magnet so like cute. you did before? So you don't... Oh, I might. I don't know if it's too thick. It might be. You could glue a magnet on, though. I mean. Sure. And it was so much fun. So I really appreciated getting that. That's cute. So much fun. Um, I'm looking for... I'm all over the place. Yep, yeah, it's okay. We did some shopping at Quilter Station. The first time I went... The first time I went, I forgot... Um, to use my gift card. <laughs> oh no! So I went back again. So, <clears throat> I this has been out there a little bit too. Liberty Bag by Shepherd's Bush. That so it's so the whole cute. kit. Yeah. It's everything. Love that. Bought this um, at La Di Da's trunk show. I just love this bag. Very, very. Is it like canvas? Yeah. Oh yeah. Love that. I had not bought anything yet from Stacy Nash from Market Releases because I knew that she was going to be one of the designers yeah. here. And I love this velvet tangerine needle book. That's so cute. This thing's big. Is this what's on the, I mean. And at first I thought it was just the orange slices that were stitched. The whole thing is stitched. Oh, no, 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 no. And it is, <laughs> it is big. It's orange. So this is the book. It's not not what's behind it. It's that's the book. That's the stitched, but you get all the you get the instructions for everything. But not it's not this. this no. Is, oh, okay. It's just the needle. The needle book is the shape of a tangerine. Okay. And so it's I a little got, deceiving showing it on something. Well, else. yeah, yeah. And then I got oh, the God. velvet parsnip needle book, which again is bigger. That's so cute. When though. I show you what she did for. And it's the exclusive project. She said she only knows how to do tiny, and it was this big, or big, and it was this big. I like big. No in between. Um, Needlework Press, a tisket, a tasket, a book of stitched baskets, Pattern which has shirt. all of these in it. And I got to see all of those, and they are all far more nice. lovely than they show here. This was really sweet, too. This was really 
And la-di-da, I have wanted something like this. I don't know when I will start it, but let me see. It's, uh, oh, it's 179 by 171. Not as big as I thought it was. And of course, it's a, it's a 2002. These are cute. So it's been out there a while. Uh, commandments. So it's a Ten Commandments. Really wanted that. And evidently, Lori with La Di Da had <coughs> done these for everybody at one of the quilter station oh, retreats wow. or whatever she calls it, extravaganza. Not She didn't do the stitching. She did the, I think, the sewing. Thinking there were 25 people and ended up being a lot more people. It was just, a, it was her thinking yeah. 25, but uh, really there were more. So this is um, a name tag. So lots of people had this name tag. And I, no. You bought this? Was, yep, I yeah. bought the, I bought the chart. Yeah. Um, and I really like this. This is La Di Da for a friend. And you could do this different color fabrics. Oh, absolutely. Different, this would be a really cute um, smalls exchange. Yeah, that's cute. So like if you did this for StitchCon instead of 2020, you could do SC23. Yeah or whatever year it is. I've been collecting these. I bought this at the store. Little House Needleworks has their um, petites. This oh, is yeah. chart six. I think I'm missing one. This is the Bumblebee petites. Well, we know I'll be borrowing that. Because <laughs> you know, all the bees. Yep. Heartstring Samplery, I have wanted this and I bought it while I was there. My home sweet home. I have intentions of stitching this and putting a photo. We have a lot of old photos from um, the original farmhouse that was yep, your family. That was your family's. And it's not as big as I thought it would be. No, it's I not. I was looking at 113 by 154. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And that's um, the whole, the whole, the whole middle is, is empty. Right. So. so it's a one great big border. <laughs> I bought the cookbook. Yep, I can't wait to look at that. It was worth it. And I saw this sweet little blackbird design that I had not seen before, My Heart is Home. It's the Tender Hearts series number two. So I got that. I wanna borrow this and take a peek at it. Yep, you can. Thanks. Um, that's hard to show that I can't. Um, so our, uh, our, the ladies with R&R &R and Dying to Stitch also gave us a, they had a lot of their antique samplers original and re reproduced and they passed those around and they gave us a photocopy chart of all I have is the chart I don't have a picture right. so I can't I can't show that um, I don't think that oh I found some Pat Carson needles never had never have I ever even used one but they had some there oh wow this came in an order. I don't know. <laughs> it came in an order. They also had Jabco pins. And I got these. I think you have those. Do you have those? I don't have those. I don't think I have those. So I love those. I have to keep my eye open for that one. There's other things I can't show you. <laughs> what else did I get? So this is all meshing together because why would I have anything organized? Right, right. I talked about doing, um, starting uh, RETMs, the Nutcracker, with um, Jenny from the Bougie Stitchers, but I needed a bigger piece of fabric, so Grace Notes Fabrics was kind enough to dye me a half yard of the raspberry latte, so that's just folded. It's showing a little more brown than it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more pinky. It's, it is pinky, but so pretty. You know how lighting can be sometimes. Yeah. And then we saw Penny with the Daily Stitcher, which means if you want to order something, she will deliver it when we get together. And I got a piece of Fabrics by Stephanie um, Chocolate Milk. And this is 18 count. Yeah, and that's looking more Ada. creamy. I know and a piece of Antique Market 18 count. Who does Antique Market? Oh shoot, ne not Needle Blink. Here she comes. Gotta love it. 
I don't remember. Anyway, it's beautiful. It I, is gorgeous. I'm sorry, I don't remember. It's gorgeous. Space in it. So. Um, ordered. Did you get in on this one? No. You did something no. different. And I got the, the book with it this time. <clears throat> Como Stitches did a pre-order of some patriotic bags using the new um, Teresa Kogut That's fabric. Awesome. And I do love this. That is awesome. I'm gonna put my, um, oh shoot, that's what it was. I'm gonna put my <laughs> uh, salute to Abigail. Someone asked for the floss that I was using. I'll remember that for the next time. Help me remember it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And for thread bed, I got the thread bed this time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Yep. But I couldn't pass that up. Absolutely love it. Uh, we got these sweet things in the mail from our friend. She probably would not want us to say anything, but. Oh, I didn't notice what she drew on my box. Oh, that's cute. She drew on yours too. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't read that. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> and I, Jennifer, what is the name of the, oh shoot, I don't remember. We'll, we'll try to include that. These beautiful scissor fobs. This is Singer sewing machine. And, whoop, back to so pretty. Yes. Yeah. We won't. We won't. Just we didn't, we didn't ask permission to say who they came from, but you know who you are. These mm -hmm. are absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, look at the sparkle and the note. The note was. That was fun. The note was. That was a lot touching. of touching. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a lot of fun. And oh, and I did bring Kathy something from Quilter Station. Oh. Do you have that? I do not. Phew. Be sweet. From Annie B's. Thank you. Quilter know. Station definitely was more my aesthetic yeah. than yours. Oh, but that so is... So I, I grabbed onto the challenge of finding something within a prim shop for her. And that's perfect. I saw that and I was like, oh, I gotta get that. And well, and that falls, off, but. that falls right into the combination of do I put up Patriotic for the month of May or do I put up my bees and... Just do it all. <laughs> you, but you have a lot. <laughs> no, but I'm going to start, so... Um. And so I'll show you... So we got three kits. We got all the stuff to go with it. I have this backwards. I'm going to show this in a second, too. And this is the project that we got from La Di Da, and it's called Flowers from Mary. That's pretty gathered from the original and this again is really and there were ladies that had this half done by the time we left so easy stitch and um beautiful linen which i knew was gonna happen that's but pretty it's so pretty it's so pretty and it came with everything what is the oh it's a counting pin yep the counting pin the um seam the bias tape to do the ruching around the pillow, which I have upside down, the finishing fabric, the threads, everything. Everything is in there. Really like that. And this is Janet A. Buckley. And I already know how I'm gonna do this. This is the, and we got all the threads and fabric. They're in there somewhere, right? I think this was the hog, I'm not gonna say it yet. Hog bristle, 36 count fox and rabbit hog bristle. You know, I'm not a linen stitcher, so it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And uh, Janet A. Buckley. You sure, it might be Jeanette. Jeanette? Oh yeah, we say Jeanette. It's spelled different than it would be around here, but and I just love this. I love these trees are so different. And I think what I am going to do, because it does say Jeanette A. Buckley aged 11 years, August, August 83. 83. Um, why sigh for pleasures that deceive and toys that we must shortly leave? Huh, that's different. But I'm thinking from here down is what I would sketch. Yeah. That's cute. I mean, so the house is really nice. So those and Stacy Nash. Let's set these aside. 
this thing was big. Beautiful. It is Stacey Nash Primitives. Yeah, we were close. Trumpet of Swans Biscorno. I know this glare. Isn't that pretty? And it's big. Which is funny because it doesn't look big compared to those teeny tiny It's scissors. very deceiving. Yeah. But it was it was good size. You know that uh, chicken pin keep in the barnyard that everybody's, that came out at market? <laughs> that. And it's not on large count fabric. And this was on some, oops. She's, sorry, there goes low. This was um, on some Dames of the Needle linen also. Mm -hmm. And again, she included ribbon, Get out of a scissor charm to go with it. All right, really low. It was all wonderful. And I think this is my last thing, and then Kathy can have the show here. Yeah, no. I gotta give it to you, Kat. You did all of that acrobatic stuff without knocking anything over. It was close, Or though. clawing up the, the vinyl in here. I'll give you. It was close. I know, it's okay. Just don't dump so the coffee. So when you're at a retreat, are you ever sitting there with your friends or your table mates and you're just meeting each other and Connie, this is Connie's fault. Um, she... Jump into the basket. Get down. Get down in Get into the basket. She had a portfolio of sorts and Tammy and I were like, uh, excuse me, where did you get that? And what is that? And where can it I get it? It was absolutely amazing. And also, so Tammy, myself, and Cheryl, who also goes by Sybil, who was there with the R&R &R gals, she's kind of like a right-hand gal to them. The three of us were, were on it. There she goes. She got a little upset. I guess nope. she didn't want the basket after all. So this is, I'm going to show you her business card. I usually do not jump on, but I even reached out and asked if they had any, and hey, listen, they don't. My name is Missy. Might not be my real legal name, but, and my middle name is Lynn. So I had to buy something. She's on Facebook only. She doesn't have any of these right now. She won't have any until the middle of June. Yeah, somebody reached out. But I was ready to. These are a down keeper, the... keeping like trapper keeper. Oh, that's why you like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an '80s girl. Always an '80s girl. So it is huge. So big. She has a video on her Facebook showing her filling this with ten projects. She stitches in hand, so it wasn't hoops and cue snaps involved. But I could put a cue snap in this and oh, use yeah. it on all my projects. So it has a zipper here. It's all coordinated. She quilts all the fabric. It is just amazing. And it is a magnetic snap and opens up so that there's a pocket in here. This zips and opens. Two of these that zip and open, zip back to back. The fabrics are just out another of this pocket world. right And here. another in the back. And another zipper, and this is another pocket. So if you um, have a mind and you find yourself on her Facebook, the way that she sells is she has albums, and she also has keepers, folders, and an ensemble like a Stitchy Mat, lots of yeah. different things. She has a couple it, right? of folders. Well, she did... Right. A couple of days. And the she, folders are like this, but without the guts, without the, right? Without the two. Without those. The, yeah. Okay. Um, if yeah. there is no comment on the picture, they're available to buy. Yeah. It, it was, was easy. And it shipped. She shipped <laughs> it the next morning. And when I got home, I asked Mike if I had any packages on the way home from the airport. And he's like, oh, do you have packages? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just, it was amazing. Yep. So absolutely loved that. That was a that, that was a nice my, little purchase. That will be on my list. That I wasn't expecting. Um, so I had a great time at Quilter Station. It was so nice to see people who I hadn't seen in a while, meet new people. I did get to meet several, several people that... I knew she was having fun because she wasn't texting me. It, yeah, it was busy. <laughs> um, Sable Stitchers, got to meet Linny and Roberta. Um, 
just so many people, yeah. so many people that, um, a special shout out to Jen from Stitchy Friends. Jen and Sarah do Stitchy Friends. Um, her and Tammy and I spent basically the whole weekend, the whole, really wasn't a weekend, the whole Time. weekend together. Uh, and that was, that was fun. It was a lot of fun. Cool. Enjoyed. Yeah, I have a few things. Um, we had, and once again, we didn't ask to, sh to share names. So um, we had someone send us adorable frame and I can already see what mm -hmm. I might put in it mm -hmm. and, and a wooden block frame. Yeah, that you can so, finish yep. up. Um, put that back there. And then I shared what was in there. Look at these. Hymns for an anxious heart and prayers for friendship. So we got um, a package from a, a sweet friend. Yep. And um, um, divvied up amongst the neighborhood. So that yep. was And it that worked out perfect. Nice. Thank you. Um, another sweet friend. So getting ready for StitchCon. I'll be able to get everyone's names. Cause, um, Come see us and fill out our books. Absolutely. Uh, I just started using my StitchCon notebook. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have a hard time using really cute notebooks. <laughs> so... Um, and then I have mostly haul. I'm really glad my husband left. Um, <laughs> she did say, oh, my husband's mm -hmm. gonna be here. So you're gonna have to tell about this because you okay. told me about it. So I wanted some sort of footstool to put under. I'll tell you that Ray with um, Red Barn Samplers, I noticed that she had the cutest little thin wooden footstool just enough to bring your feet about four feet off the floor and I really need something like that when I'm sitting at a table right short and you know traveling and feet swelling and I was so I got on the Amazon and I said I'm looking for some sort of footstool found this this actually you can sit on it has a weight um, limit but just it show kids so they it comes flat so it's just flat like pancake and they did say that you might want to step on this. So I stepped on mine, okay. but it opens up. So this is the bottom. Think of it sitting on the ground. And this is the, the ground. This is the flat where you put your feet. And you just give it a little, a little push with your foot and it opens up and you have a little footstool. And it's gonna be perfect to slide in the front pocket of a suitcase yep. or um, $8, right? Yeah, it's like eight or $9 so on Amazon. Check out Amazon, especially if you're going to StitchCon and you're flying, that's perfect. Yep. Um, I'm so excited to use it. And you said all different colors? Yeah, they had several different colors. All right. Do I have anything over here? Nope. So I've been um, <clears throat> shopping. I'm stealing some of her snacks over me. here. Um, when I, I did order grabbing, my, but... my PDF from Sweet Wing Studios, um, I did get uh, some of her stickers. So these are nice big stickers. Fun. <laughs> that way. What's that say? Oh, cross-stitcher cross on board. board. Okay. And then I'd rather be cross-stitching, which is why I was excited that there was a pattern. I'm like, oh, I you like thought... Yeah. So I did get those. I've had those for a little while. This is cute. Um, Como Stitches has created Notion bags. So this is... Is it upside? It okay. looks like the little pencil bags that would be inside the Traffic Keepers. Yes. So the words, some of the words are backwards for you, but... Um, Super cute. I actually forgot about her sale. That was weird. Something fell. I forgot about her sale and I went on two hours later. And were this, you able to get this it? This sweet thing was still there. Oh, good. Um, it did. Just ships out the next day. She gives you tracking. It's here. Lickety split from Missouri. This took longer because this ended up somewhere on in eastern Maine. So it yeah, made its round, happened, so it's but... seen all of me, but I absolutely love it. Um, Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. I collect. You didn't have this. I did not have it. Um, I got this on a stash on load. I was all over it. Can't wait to play with that one. Um, oops, there's a note. There's a note. There's a note. And then I got on uh, Chrissy, finally a farm girl. And had to have a few. Um, of course, this is Matilda Sews. 
just stinking cute. I know Missy's not a mouse person, but it is cute though. And um, this I is do, her brand like new this, one. This Nicola. is patriotic Matilda. And she's this like Bessie Wallace. So cute. Yeah, I do like this one a lot. And I love that finish too. And this one I went back I like on this. and got. This is called Room on My Broom. There is always room on my broom for friends like you. This one is just like absolutely adorable. Too. Yeah. Does it say what it is? Uh, let me see. Her charts are amazing also and so full of information. My pattern? This pattern is my interpretation for my favorite Halloween children's book, which Beulah is always ready to make room on her broom for friends like Matilda, Jeremiah, and Carama Car Clara the Cat. Stitch two over two on 28 count cashel gilded, hand dyed gold colored linen. Ew, specialty stitches include French knots. Yes. Your daughter can even do French knots. <laughs> and long stitches. Yeah. Um, her patterns are great. Um, I've already uploaded them to Good Notes, but there's just something about that. I mean, even the moon has a little witch's hat. That is so, so cute. Do so, they all have hats on? Oh, with the cat and the bat. Where's the bat? The bat. Oh. <clears throat> There's a cat. That's the white mouse. Is it a white mouse? Mm -hmm. And then the cat, and then the witch, and Matilda, Jeremiah. Is that a mouse? I don't know. I don't know. Can't tell. So, oh, is there, a, is there another? Yes, it's a white mouse. Okay. So, got those. Got those. And the last thing is I am part of... It's the Sal by Amy Bruken Designs, um, Jingle All the Way. And this is what it's going to look like. It is being released two patterns every other month. So I got the be Merry and Bright, Holly, then Jolly, and, and jingle, jingle All the Way. Oh, that's cute. So I have, um, I'm set up with Justine at Welcome Stitchery. So I have, this is what it all looks like, um, but it's pattern one is the words. Um, I'm gonna have to do it a little bit differently because I'm not counting like that. And then pattern two is in the upper left-hand corner and it is the gingerbread people. So I did get all the threads. I ordered them from the Daily Stitcher. They're all classic color works. Um, and then our lovely sweet friend Donna had two skeins or two things of ribbon red. So I've got signs the orange. Off. The orange is marmalade. Oh, I don't know where it goes. Noses or something. Um, probably penguin feet. feet. Excuse me. Looks like it's gonna come with a nose. Oh. Um, this has a heart button. So each one, if it has an embellishment, it comes with the embellishment. Um, this one has, uh, peppermints, peppermints. Something. Yep. They go around the words, around the words, oh, okay. Holly and Jolly. So, um, that's going to be fun. I have some fabric coming. It actually shipped today that I'm thinking will work, uh, the winter woolen. We're oh. gonna find out, because I think it needs to be on a light color. Mm -hmm. um, we'll find out if that is. Does... When does this sale start? It you're came gonna, out in You're April. gonna need a spreadsheet like Pam has for oh, your no, sales. Oh, no, 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 I just work on them. I'm a start along, I'm not a stitch along. Um, but it started. it came out in April, at the end of April, so. But I haven't seen anyone start it yet, but. I'm gonna do it. So I really love it. I get, I'm getting the itch for some Christmas stitching. So oh, well, there you go. Um, not that, Halloween. Well, that Halloween and then this Christmas and patriotic. I I have the you same. You just want to start. I just want to stitch all the things. I want to not too. work and I want to stitch all the things. I know. So I know. Now, if you could only see the table. Mm -hmm. So what do you got coming down the pike? Um. 
the Jingle All the Way thing. Mm -hmm. um, for the month of May, um, our friend Kia from Kia B came up with a plan to do May or May Not for Whip Mania or for Mania. And the plan is to work on whips the first through the sixth. And then on the seventh, you can have a new start. Um, so if, say today, I don't work on anything, I just bump it ahead. Um, it's just to touch all the whips. And um, I, I think I'm gonna, it's gonna work out well because it'll still give me some starts. I'm certainly not doing 23 new starts, although I could. <laughs> Easily good. Um, so she came up with that. It's on my Instagram. Um, it's the, just a calendar, first mm -hmm. through the sixth, start on the seventh, eight through the whatever. Math. math, yeah. Are they fighting or is she just freaking? Well, don't come near me kind of Yeah, chat. the cats don't like each other. They tolerate each other. I don't know why. They're both psycho. Um, so that's it. Just keep working on projects, pulling the whips. I want to try to pull. I, I worked on um, Frosty's Night Out. It, it covered two birds with one stone. I don't mm -hmm. know what tonight will be. And then tonight, tonight I'm going to start the lemon, the lemon. The lemon one? I'm going to start that probably <clears throat> because I'm drinking coffee now and it's um, 5.30. I will oh. probably get a lot of it done because I will probably Did you switch out your winter iced coffee for your summer iced coffee? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same to me. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm going to do that. I am going to start... Um, the shepherd's bush, shepherd's bush stocking, and I am very glad. I knew somewhere along the lines that someone had said somewhere to pay attention to your fabric and placement. Maybe it was Vana one time, Could because be. you've got to allow for the toe of the stocking, and oh. and watching and listening to Liz on Antique Needleworkers, um, she forgot to account oh, no. for the toe. She's made it work, and it's going to yeah. be beautiful. Go watch them. She's doing something a little different with her, her stocking and the size. It's it's adorable. So I've got to put wrap my brain around that, and that's not going to be tonight. No. Um, so I'm going to start that. I am trying hard to wait to start um, Salute to Abigail. I don't know how long I'll wait. I need to plan uh, one or two things to take with me. My husband and I are going on a trip. We are leaving the 20th the 20th because we're going to celebration yep we're, oh, is it needlework celebration? celebrations of needlework in nashua new hampshire mm -hmm. uh that runs i think wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday yeah it's like thursday. the 18th to the 21st or something, something like, like that. that we're gonna go on friday the 19th i'm mm -hmm. um, gonna meet up with some friends and do some shopping and be some vendors there that we're excited to see and shop from and yep. um, have lunch with friends and then the next day, very early, my husband and I are leaving and we're taking a two-week vacation. So Kathy gets to have the dog. Aww. Grace and Justin will take care of the kitty. Um, and we're going to just You guys are not going to know fun. what to do with yourself for two weeks. I have, when we go on, fun fact, my husband doesn't vacation well. He doesn't travel well. Once it's all said and done, it's amazing. So I have to keep us busy. Because if he has any downtime, then he starts thinking about things that he can be doing at home. But he enjoys the vacation. Yep. Um, so we have some fun things <clears throat> planned. And uh, hopefully we're going to get to meet up with some friends. And um, Mike's He's going to go do fishing. Some, he's going to do some fishing, which is going to be fun. He was concerned about what I would do. Don't worry about me. That's right. You go and have fun. I'm going to make a plan. She's going to fill that, that keeper and take it with her. And that's, a good, that's a good idea. I can take my stuff and my keeper. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that. I hope to hit a stitchy shop or two where we go. Um, we get home the very 1st of June, and I have a six-day turnaround, eight-day turnaround, and it's we go to Ohio. Yeah. So busy times. Um just looking forward to it. Work is not quite over. Um, yeah. I think I'm going back in Thursday. I think. Because I realized appointments that I thought I had this <laughs> Thursday are really next Wednesday. Uh-oh. Um, 
that's yeah. that's it really yep for anyone who doesn't know we are going to be at weekend b um but mm -hmm. we are flying out during weekend a we have some plans yep. that we're going to stay with friends um we'll do some things oh uh penny daily stitcher stitch main uh is a one day yep retreat uh nine to fiver on a saturday it is july what's eight plus seven july 15th yeah. What does eight plus seven mean? Because we have plans on the eighth. Oh, yes. And so I knew it was the following Saturday. Okay. Um, as of yesterday afternoon, there were six spots. I think so. Left think... in Stitch Main. Go to the dailystitcher.com. You purchase your ticket right through her. Right through her. Put it in your cart, purchase your, your ticket, and she will email you. Um, the details. So if you're in the area or going to be in the area, it is going to be in Hollowell, Maine, and all the details are on yep. the dailystitcher.com. Just outside of Augusta. Um, there's plenty of hotels if you're coming from away, but it's not I mean, an it's overnight. a lot for, it's not an overnight. It's not a two-day thing, but if you want to yeah. come or you are somewhat local, check it out. And in October is Stitch New England. It's put on by the shop Stitch New England, Pam. Um, her YouTube channel is uh, Stitching in the Land of Good Enough. Is that the 13th to the 15th? Oh, I think so. 11th to the 5th. No. We don't know what we're doing. Okay, so we going. know what day it is today, but we don't know where we're going. And um, we only know because we looked at our calendar. And that has, as of the other day... 13th to the 15th. Yeah, maybe, we're going on the 12th. That's why we... Yes. Maybe 20 spots left. Right. And, at the most and the hotel a couple of rooms right might have spots but there's plenty of hotels in the area mm -hmm. um it's just the convention center hotel yep that's going to be uh 300 people so there are like i said just under 20 spots left um looking forward to yeah, that too we, yeah she's going to have a transportation a to her shop which is just basically yeah they're going to shuttle shop. people um smalls exchange yep. vendor uh, annex yeah. Um, so that's in October. So if you want to get on board with that, mm -hmm. go to Stitch Main and you can register online. Yep. And um, go to their website and there's an icon for it. Yep. Um, I think after StitchCon, that's we've got the one day for Stitch Main. We're going to Stitch New England. You're going to be ramping up for a vacation, also. Yeah. We are. We're going to try to hit Hobby House sometime in the in the middle of all that. Yeah, we're we're, we're hoping talking to do about like it, a long weekend in the summer, maybe. We'll see. Uh, we're going to be pretty much home for the summer. <clears throat> Baby watch. Um, Grace has the summer off, and yeah, we'll do some things maybe. Yep. November we're cruising. Yep. So I'm considering. I forgot to make that phone call today, but stitching at the farm. I've got to figure that all out. If you're going, if you're not, what you're doing. Yeah, I've got to call him because it was confusing for me. I have a reservation, I think, and but you know, I just I need the I need to find out yeah. what's going on. So that's really it. Yeah. So um, I've got still got some some haul coming in. I've got my eye on a couple of other things. So mm -hmm. who knows if I'll shop? We're at Grace and Justin are at 21 weeks, I think, this week. Yep. Yep. So. And that's all going as planned. As well, planned. I mean, someone who hadn't seen her, this funny side story, someone who hadn't seen her um, since she was small. And uh, this lady actually, she, it was Kathy. She took sewing, the girls took sewing lessons mm. from this lady in town. And uh, so she said to Grace, and Grace was a little caught off guard because she had not been asked this. Um, Are you enjoying being pregnant? And... She said, I didn't know how to answer it because I don't always enjoy it. But growing a human is a lot of work. Yeah. And I said, that's okay because it is a lot of work. You're, you're growing brains and nervous, a brain and nervous system. And it's, it's an amazing creation of God. And yeah. you do what you have to do. And you're not always going to have good days. We don't always like life, but in the end, yeah. it's, it's, and we then there's the, the all better. the all adulting thing, you know. Yeah. They all so. But anyway, so they're doing. She's doing fine. Yeah. Um, she really and she does say, um, all things considered, and knowing what others have gone through, um, I've so far I'm having 
a good pregnancy, yeah, which she's, is she's glowing. You can yeah, see, yeah, yeah. So, it's, uh, and they're out, they're getting good reports. Growth is the way it should be. So there we go. Yeah, and um, I think they landed on a name, but we're just saying baby E. Yeah. So for now, anyway. Yeah, that's our life. If you could see the table, you probably wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Um, we'll get it cleaned up. We probably all have this somewhere. Yeah. Get it cleaned up. Have some supper. I have no idea. I'm on my own. Tonight is yo-yo, which means you're on your own. Mm -hmm. Hubby's at the fire department. What are you having for supper? I'm cooking baked haddock. Oh. I might go to your house. Ooh. Baked potato? I offered it to Grace, but she said mm, fish isn't her thing right now. Yeah. This coming from the girl who eats what wrapped in a fruit roll-up? Pickle. Ugh. That's That's gone by the wayside. Yeah. So. All right. Um, we'll be back. We, we, scheduling is going to be a little off. We don't know. We're going to try to film before too long, but with her on vacation, we're not pushing it. So mm -hmm. uh, don't freak out if we're not here in a couple weeks. Um, we'll get back. We'll, you know. We'll be here. Yeah. Um, if you comment, like, subscribe. Yep. Um, Do all the things. Leave messages for those who um, have won shares. Send us emails, yep. and we will do our best to get everything out um, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently, it's feeding time for the zoo. So, um, <laughs> if you're not ready with snacks, with with treats at five minutes of five, oh, they're very late. Um, they'll be sitting over there as soon as I get up, and they want their treats. So, um, yeah, they have me well trained. Mm -hmm. They have Rob well trained too. So. Mm -hmm. Um, we, thanks for stopping by. Thanks. And um, we'll see you when we see you. Absolutely. All right. Happy stitching. Yeah.